Spectacular, just spectacular. The topography, the geology, the scenery, the contrast, spectacular. We're here in Port Chois, which is on the west coast of Newfoundland. And one of the great things about coming to Newfoundland and the west coast in particular is the unique geology of the area. So we can actually walk on the Earth's mantle, we can cruise into the deep fjord lakes and see some pretty spectacular scenery. We're on the north shore of Newfoundland, up the Long Peninsula. We came up here so that we could see Viking culture and their impact upon the settlement of North America. We wanted always to come to this part of Canada because we'd never been here, and now we've been on, in all the provinces of Canada and in two of the three territories. Yesterday we came into Labrador on the ferry and we went to Lansamore. We went to the lighthouse at uh, Lansamore and we had a nice little uh, presentation there and that was a lot of fun and interesting. We took a ferry for about 90 minutes, just our group, and we got to Battle Harbor today. The ferry ride was a hoot because uh, our guide Tony knows how to play a guitar and he got everybody together and we sat around in the front of the boat and sang songs and joked around and really had a great time. So uh, the, the ferry crossing was more than just riding on a boat. It was having a good time with uh, some new friends and, and a great guy. Today we're in uh, Red Bay in Southern Labrador. I chose this Road Scholar program because I've never been to Newfoundland and uh, Southern Labrador. Um, it also involved uh, being outside. I wanted to see Grossmorn National Park in Newfoundland. So we are on the uh, western part of Newfoundland, uh, a place called Cowhead, which is just uh, on the northern part of the Grossmorn National Park. We saw it as a real challenge and we weren't sure until we got to the base of the mountain whether we were prepared to tackle the, the full option of climbing the summit. We looked at the steep rock slide scramble we'd have to do to get up to the summit and uh, I think we both felt it was pretty doable. But the views up top were just spectacular and so rewarding. It really was a very special day for us on this uh, Road Scholar Tour. Is you a Newfoundlander and Labradorian? Say yes. yes. <laughs> Road Scholar instructors are well informed, knowledgeable. They know the local environment, they know the animals, the plants, the geology, the people. So you're not just doing the usual tourist stick. I also like that they tend to get to know all the individuals on the trip and they take care of all the details that I really don't want to have to deal with. Our uh, group leader was he himself a fisherman in the cod industry. He's familiar with that industry as well as he is a folk singer and is very well versed in all of the folk songs of this area. But we also um, had what he called a kitchen party last night in Battle Harbor where we invited the, where Tony, our guide, invited the local people and we sang for them and they also did some entertainment for us. So it was nice to mix with uh, some of the local residents. What is great about traveling with Road Scholar is the variety of trips they offer all over the world, the opportunities you get to interact with people who live where you're visiting, the opportunities to learn because they have wonderful instructors in nearly every place. I learn a lot from Road Scholar, which is the other reason. I think it's a difference between some other trips where you're just going to see the scenery. Here, 
you're going to the place and you're really learning something about the area where you're going, what's significant about it, what's pretty about it, um, why it's important. We've met several couples on Road Scholar trips that we've then traveled again with because they tend to like to travel, tend to have the same sense of humor, and of course adventure, so it makes it a lot of fun. And also they can put up with us. <laughs>